one can get many lessons from spending time in another's shoes. The shoes of a goat! Or a super saiyan, for example. Hey everyone, this is I'm a Doctor Nana, and today I'm going to show you how to install new classes and backgrounds to Baldur's Gate 3 by showing off how to install two exceptional mods, Was a Goat for 10 Years and Dragon Ball Warrior. This is a very useful video for you all because these lessons also apply to installing other mods, enabling you to add even more functionality and customizability to your own game. Remember to subscribe to my channel because I'll show you how to make your very own class in my next video. That'll enable you to make something unique, like class where your character was born a flower, but transformed into a dragon born by a mage, struggling to cope with the lack of photosynthesis and a very low intelligence. Let me know in the video comments a unique class or background that you'd like to see in Baldur's Gate 3. Luckily for modders and enjoyers of mod, installing the software you need to do this, which is Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager, and then installing the mods, is very easy. First, let's get Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager. Go to the link in the video description and download the latest release as shown. Then extract the folder and place it someplace handy so you can readily access it again in the future. Now launch the exe file. You may get a warning message from Windows Defender. I scanned all the files with Bitdefender so it should be okay to run. Great! Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager is now installed. If you have any issues with it detecting your Baldur's Gate 3 installation, let me know in the video comments and I can guide you on how to fix it. Now we're going to install the background and class mods that I had in mind. Emphasizing was a goat for 10 years. Go to the Nexus links in the video description and download both mods manually. I recommend saving and extracting the files into the folder near where you had the Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager just to keep things organized. Now go to the mod manager window, go to file, import mod, then go into the extracted mod folders, select the PAK files, and then press OK. There's just one last step, which is done to prevent you from getting stuck with a whole bunch of naked people at the start of a new game, really. You need to download the Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Fixer, another PAK mod. Go to the link in the video description, download and extract the files, and install the pack file as you did the others. It should now be pinned at the bottom of your mod manager window. Now you have to enable the mods and export them to your game folder. To do this, all you have to do is drag the mods from the right side of the window under the inactive tab to the left side of the window under the active tab. Next, go to File, Save Order, then File, Export to Game. That's it! Now run Baldur's Gate 3, start a new game, and ensure that your class and background options now come up. You should get a new message in the early cinematic that you can then close once you get to the character creator. When I think of what could improve my games, with experience that I have with modding. I never thought that channeling my inner goat or Goku could help solve problems. For people like me, or people who want to change or just add anything else to their Baldur's Gate 3 installation, now you know how you could make your game better and match what you want from your game as an individual. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps boost my power level and I'll ensure that you remain connected to content that'll help you make more out of all your games. Leave a comment on a tutorial that you'd find helpful, like my next one on how to make a new class for Baldur's Gate 3. Thanks for watching. Starship out. Do it. We will deal with the Geich after we escape.